Hey, what's good? It's Andrew from ProducerSociety.com. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to automate EQ in GarageBand. Now, this is a, somewhat of a daunting task. I just recently learned how to do it. Normally, I wouldn't mess around with automation when it comes to EQ, but I recently decided to explore more for the sake of, you know, just showing people how to do it because I know some of the stuff it goes unexplored and it can be a bit confusing. But anyway, so what you want to do, or rather, I think a better way to start this video off would be to say that in order to adjust the primary uh, foundation of EQ automation, or in order to like, in order to use this this feature, what you want to do is you want to adjust your your channel EQ automation in the following parameters. You want to go, you go channel EQ, and then peak one frequency, peak one gain, peak one on and off, and peak one Q factor. Those are like the four main parameters. Additionally, it could be peak two, peak three, and peak four. But these are the four main things where like if you want to make adjustments to EQ and you want it to be automated, these are like the four main ones that you want to play around with, okay? So that's like the main takeaway of this video. So in case you don't know anything about automation, you just hit A on your keyboard to bring it up. And um, the amount of automation that you can adjust on your tra tracks corresponds to the number of plugins you have. So you can see I have four plugins right here, or excuse me, five. So when you go into the EQ, or excuse me, when you go into the, the automation menu, the, the same plugins appear in the menu because it corresponds to it directly. Um, anyway, moving on from that. So here's how you make adjustments, right? So I just selected channel EQ peak one frequency. And um, in order to show you what's going on here, I'm going to show you the EQ right down here. So now you can actually see what's up. You can see what's going on. I'm actually going to eliminate this low pass as well. Um, so here you can kind of see the way you can see the way that it's corresponding to the automation line. You see how it's moving down in the EQ. So that's what that one does. The peak one frequency changes uh, the point at which the automation works in terms of the frequency range. So for example, we're going to set this now to like this. We're going to set it to like that. And we're actually going to even speed it up like a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's fine. So that's adjusting the EQ frequency. So you can kind of see it, right? By the way, I got a present for you. Go to ProducerSociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list to get a free mixing cheat sheet. And I send all kinds of cool tips and stuff that I don't share anywhere else. You can also join my forum at forum.producersociety.com. Um, for now, it's totally free to sign up, but uh, in the future, I'll probably lock it down and then turn it into a full course platform. You can see what it's doing here. So the next one, the channel EQ peak one gain. So that's adjusting the amount that it's boosting in DB. So we're going to go like this and now you can see what it's doing right here, right? So now it's going along and that's essentially how you automate these two effects. So that next up we're going to do is I'm going to show you the channel EQ peak one on and off. Now this is just an on and off switch. So if you want it turned on, you have it at the top. If you want it turned off, you have it at the bottom. There's just two main parameters and that's it. So for example, you go like this, you got the EQ on one side and the EQ off on the other. So we want that turned on. And then the final one is the channel EQ uh, Q factor, the peak one Q factor. So that's just a, um, automating the, the level of Q. So as you can see here, you crank it, you got a super narrow Q, you drop it, you got a super wide Q. So let's do it about, let's do it about halfway like that. So now you can see this automation. Now, let's say hypothetically, hypothetically, we play the song. We got all these set up. Now it's going like this. So when we play that song, we're going to have like a phaser type effect now. So I'm going to show you what this sounds like right now. Camicetta bianca e le mie bans nere, patatine fritte e coca da bere. Prendi un micce e calla fragola, allunga un dici e venti, andiamo via da qua. Nei miei ricordi, quella sera che non scorderò mai, ti porto al Mac. Carta e fuori panini sulle panchine, ai giardini, mangio anche il tu. So anyway, you get the idea, and that that's essentially how you automate EQ in GarageBand. 
So I, I hope you learned something from that. Um, there's actually more that we can talk about, and I'm going to explore more about e EQ automation in the future. Um, another thing I learned about this feature is that let's say we choose like uh, the master gain. So that's an EQ for the master gain. So that's just going to adjust the amount of gain that we're adding to the total track. So you can, that's a, an important feature as well. But anyway, the, as I said before, the main, the main takeaway, the main takeaway from this is that if you want to make adjustments to the EQ and you want to automate it, the four main parameters are the peak one, the peak one frequency gain on and off, and then the Q factor. And then also these peak two, peak three, peak four, if you want to make even addition, even more changes. So that's the main takeaway. I um, mean, th those are like, that's like the way to do it. Okay. And then these other ones, these up, these ones up here, we'll talk about the, these later. Frankly, I haven't explored them that much, so I'm not going to lie to you and say, I know how to use them yet. But uh, I'm going to get into that in the future and I'll show you how to do it. So, um, yeah, I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you find these helpful. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.